the um, perfect response to Tuesday night? Yeah, very much so. I thought, um, yeah, lads naturally were frustrated, disappointed, you know, with the result on Tuesday. But given how we performed, you know, I thought we were excellent on Tuesday um, by the last 10 minutes, which cost us. And then it's a case of then how do you respond today? Um, and again, I think, you know, seeing the lads every day and the work we do and the messages we give them is around, you know, we decide what we carry forward, um, start in a, in a good headspace. And, you know, I thought we did that today. I thought, uh, you know, the... the the behaviours were outstanding. The desire to run, to compete, duels, etc. Be brave and take the ball. I thought was was really good. And then you know the collective organisation was very good as well. And back to back away away wins now. Both scored early and then saw it out really well. How did you? How does that feel? Yeah, good. I thought we managed the game a lot better than we did on Tuesday. I thought you know on there's a potential you know even the the Middlesbrough game you know when you're ahead you can you can end up quite quickly in a really deep block soaking up pressure. But I thought we did a we did a slightly better job of playing, you know, keeping the block slightly higher, but then managing the game with the ball. Um, you know, I thought there was a couple of really good counter-attacking moments when, you know, when we were ahead um, that, that did, almost led to things. But again, I thought we we did a really good job of managing the game to see it out. And a clean sheet again today as well. Yeah, I thought I, th- I thought the lads defended terrifically well. I don't think Max had a huge amount of work to do, um, I th- and that's credit to him. But it's also credit to the guys in front. In terms of you know the compactness, the aggression, the how we controlled space, I thought they did a really good job. And Norwich before today, obviously I'm being here for a very long time. How much of a statement is that for you to come here and, and end that run? Not really about statements, to be honest. I think it's a really tough place to come against a really you know strong side that have you know got good form at home. It's a tough place to come. Um, you know, I think it, of course we will take confidence from it, but argue, ultimately it's a completely different challenge in two weeks when we play Burnley at home. So again, I think it's look, it's it, for me we we take the positives, we reflect, we'll learn, we'll um, you know really important stay grounded because the championship so so difficult, so tight, the margins are so fine as we've seen this week. Um, that it's about you know making sure that like I said, take the good stuff forward, but be ready to go again. And obviously you've got the league's top scorer here in Borja Signs. Uh, managed to restrict him quite well today. Is that something that you looked at before the game? Yeah, we 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 knew the threat he carried, but we, you know I have to say he was up against George Earthy, who's only his second start. Um, so I have to commend George. I thought he did a terrific job. Um, and then again, we knew he liked to come inside on his right foot. So I thought you know when he did come inside, we had good bodies there, which is why we went with the shape that we did. Um, you know, he came inside to a lot of traffic where there was a lot of pressure. And again, I thought we we did a really good job of restricting a really, really good player to you know to very little. And we've got to talk about Naki as well on his 500th game. What a finish from him as well. Um, yeah, how does he feel? How's, how is that for you? Yeah, phenomenal. I'm delighted for Naki. Love working with him. I think he's, a, he's an outstanding professional. I think if you look, if you, what impresses me more than Naki, I think, is the standards he sets on himself. I think, you know, he... he gets more frustrated and annoyed than anybody when he misses opportunities in training. He, you know, his quality... I get to see regularly in training as well, and you see it come out in games. I think you know it was a, a fantastic finish, and you know he's in a, he's in a really good spot, and you know long may it continue. And Anis as well, back to back goals in back to back games now um, seems to be really growing in confidence. Just taking people on from the first minute today. Um, yeah, I'll watch me for that. I thought I thought he was excellent, Anis. He's had to be a little bit patient. He's obviously. You know, not not. I know he won't have started. He wants to start every single game, and I know he'd have been a bit frustrated at not. But again, I think that the only thing you can do is you know deliver when you're called upon. You know, we're gonna have to make changes in the future. We're gonna have to. You know, it wasn't so long ago that Naki wasn't playing and Sinks was starting. So, you know, I think it, you're gonna need everybody across the course of the season. And the, and the, the best thing you can do is respond like Anis has. Um, love working with him. I think he's. You know, he he shows what he's about. He loves football. Wants to get better. Continuously, and again, I'm I'm delighted for him. You know, he's he's so desperate to do well. Uh, you know, when people work as hard as he does, I'm I'm delighted when they, uh, you know, they get the outcomes that they want. And no game next week, of course. Um, a few players off on international duty. How good is it to send them away with a win and go into the next two weeks of training with a win? Yeah, I prefer to keep them with us. But I think uh, I think the the, the bit for me uh, again is it's great for the lads to go away. We have to be a little bit careful. You know, when you look at ninety, the outputs. Is, uh, him and Marcus were outstanding again today. I think you know when you look at the relationship between them two in the last sort of three four games, it's been a huge plus. Um, and again, I think you know Knighty goes away, but I think when you look at it, we we need to use the next sort of two weeks to you know get a few back. We'll hopefully have a few more faces fit and available for Burnley. But you know we have to make sure that we we rest, we recover, we continually work. But hey, we've got another game in two weeks that we wanna we wanna do well in. Lovely. Cheers, Liam. Thank you.
Liam, where do you assess City at at this stage of the season? Just two points off the playoffs, obviously on a pretty good run of form. I think it's one defeat in ten, maybe, or nine. It looks like a good for, run of form on paper. How pleased are you with the way the size progressed to this point? Yeah, I think it, it's twofold, right? You kind of reflect on the performances. You also reflect on the outcome, whether you've won or not. Um, we're in the results business. So I think in, in, in terms of when I look at it, the culture that we have, I think the lads are only going to continually improve. I think, you know, we obviously you know, brought in a fair few new faces in the summer of, you know, we, we reduced the age a bit. So we've got some some young players that are only going to, you know, continually improve and grow. So I think, you know, up to date, I've been I've been really impressed with the consistency of the performance and probably a little frustrated. We've not maybe got more points that I feel we've deserved from from those performances. But that that's the nature, I think, of championship f football. The margins are that fine that you can dominate a game and still lose. Um, and, and again, I think that's the bit that, you know, we're, we're, we're continually learning, get better at is, you know, how do we manage a game to make sure that when you're ahead and the pressure's on, how do you manage it? What does it look like? And there are bits I definitely think as you, as you grow and you get slightly older and more games under your belt and more experiences, you, you get better at. So again, I think it, it, it like I said, uh, the group are a pleasure to work with every day. They're a, a big driver of what I do here. Um, and, and again, long may it continue. Without wishing to put tags on them, what, what do you hope you can achieve over the weeks, months coming, going forward? What, what do you feel is the realistic for a group with the potential and yeah, resilience they showed um, to bounce back and play like that today? What do you hope and expect from them over the coming months? Uh, it's probably less expectation. I think it, it's so far away, right? I think there's so many you know, things that, that can go right, go wrong, injuries, luck, f form, fitness. You know, that, that, that can all change. I think the, the, the big bit is if we want to get the outcome focusing on the now, you know, it's the actions that will get us that. So it's making sure we come in this week, we stay humble, we stay grounded, we, you know, we, you know, reflect and take the positives from today. But it's a, it's a different different challenge, um, you know, in two weeks' time. So hey, the, the, I love working with a group. I think the biggest bit for us is to concentrate on, you know, continually improving, continually working as hard as we can. And you know, if we do that and we become the best versions ourselves, it, the, the finish will take care of itself. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.